Welcome everyone and welcome once again to a pitch black January morning on the somewhat frosty Central European time zone. Today we will be starting with some gesture drawings of primates. Um, I had to Google myself what exactly primates are, but it is uh, monkeys and uh, things like lemurs and tarsiers. So I imagine the man on the street would just call all, all of these things monkeys, but not all of them are technically monkeys. Now that my clock is already on the hour, we will quickly start. We are starting off with an ape. This seems to be an orangutan. We are right back to problems with drawing humans, that you have a, a vague idea of what's supposed to be happening. He's hanging from a branch, looking like he's having fun. And he's got like a funny kind of a mane here that makes him look like he was uh, smiling. Looks like a beardy, beardy man. I think this is a monkey. That looks like a monkey to me. Sitting in a very branch like this. And his face is barely here. And here barely visible. And he's got one hand somewhere around here and his forearm going there. And his shoulder should be somewhere here behind the, the branch that he's sitting on. I think this is another chimpan uh no uh orangutan, although a baby one. These guys love interacting with their surroundings, so they are actually relatively difficult to draw, I find. And the cat and the... The cats and the birds were easier. So if you want some low effort or low stress uh, gesture drawing, I would not suggest primates. Although I could see drawing primates being useful for your human character art with these things. I would imagine have enough similarities with humans. Now this is a lemur. It looks like kind of like a, a monkey raccoon. And got some sort of like uh, no protruding ears, like carnivores do. It's kind of a domino mask face. And what else does he have? He has his leg in something like this, and a kind of a drooping belly. And this is a straight up monkey, has a real snout. Then he has this. Uh, like again beard beard looking sideburns here very kind of human or elf like ear it's uh kind of a funny thing i do not know what kind of an animal this is i would call it a monkey but uh it might well be a Tarsia or some of some other other creature like that. He does not look like he is having a good time. But, um, gonna have it. Well, he's he's gone. And he's another monkey. The kind of a monkey you would see in um in the hot springs. Although for those who know what kind of uh, monkeys there are in Japan, it might be useful to identify this guy. He's sort of doing, doing a face here with his eyebrows and licking his, uh, licking his lips. 
Now this is a gorilla. He is sitting. He has a sort of a, an extreme case of uh, a human-like body. Got a very large shoulder here. And his skull has these you know, two components to it. The, much the way that human skulls have as well, but it is much more extreme in his case. I think this guy's a baboon. He's got sort of a beard as well. But he is screaming. He's got a very heavy brow ridge again, as uh, monkeys often do. And this is a pair of gorillas. Uh -oh. There's a baby gorilla clinging to an adult gorilla, so I have to assume the adult gorilla is the mother gorilla. But uh, throwing this, oh, this is a this is a one minute. Very good. I have to change my um, my layer after this one. I imagine this is a she. So the hand hand is turned over, leaning on the back of the hand, which I don't think is something that uh, humans would generally do. I certainly wouldn't. It would be painful for me. No, nope. that was a gorilla. There's another baboon. This one is um, actually doing a pose. Got his uh, his hand here. And of course, this forearm is uh, very teardrop shaped, as you would expect from a human. And he is touching his forehead, He's sort of vaguely doing a face palm. Very heavy brow ridge, kind of beady eyes looking looking out from under the under the brow ridge. Got these facial markings. Nostrils. Kind of a goatee again is uh funny thing about, about monkeys is that they have a sort of you know human like but not quite human ambience to them. Which how do you get these these apes to behave in these ways? This this one's doing like a weird kung fu pose. Do they just naturally do that or do you have to Prompt them somehow. Weird. Got his head somewhere here. And then his hand, other hand. Relatively large arm. He's got his peg here. Oh, this is a small monkey. Working on a banana. Mm, he doesn't have very distinct um a very distinct lower leg. He does have this long weird fingers on his on his um legs he's leaning his shoulder on his knee and after that um his upper arm disappears i think he's got that thing going on like uh, like cats do that um the upper arm until the elbow is hidden inside the uh skin pouch and he's leaning forward with his hand here 
the uh, the banana sticking out. Well, didn't get it far. Again, a pair. Seems more likely to me that um, a small monkey would be clinging to its mother like this uh, rather than its father, but I am not uh, familiar with with monkey um, social dynamics. Now we are moving into the five minutes. And this is a chimpanzee who is luckily not shaved, but his uh, testicles are dangling very visibly. And he is uh, doing like a pensive pose, I think. I've got his shoulders drooped, um, drooped up. Well, I guess that's the, uh, that's the opposite of drooping, but uh, so he's shrugging, I think. He's got his head uh, low down. His chin is almost resting on his, um, on his hands here. And he's resting his forearms. We're going to have to um, give the forearms some volume before this. He's resting his forearms on his knees. And of course his uh, feet look like hands. He has uh, opposable big toes. He's got the fairly visible kneecap going on here. I think there's a bit of the floor visible behind there. Not quite sure there. The um, balls are hanging there. That sort of uh, you know, big ears, as chimpanzees often do. Again, quite a heavy brow ridge. Uh, it might be a little um, too far down. Where are his eyes? It's uh, at the bottom level of the ears. That's where the ridge is. It's got like a neutral to, to smiling monkey face. And some sideburns going on, and kind of a beard. He has definitely got some male or possibly monkey pattern baldness going on there. Oh, well, not really. Uh, compared to a human, that's just the forehead. It's just that he has uh, he has an extremely uh, prominent forehead. some of the folds in the up um, in the armpit here his thumb is barely visible down here but then he's got uh, no finger showing I guess he's turned 
turned his wrist into an extreme position like the uh, I think um, mother mother chimpanzee from before. Close to running out of time. I think this is. I am about done with this, with this ape anyway. Yeah, that's going to be plenty good enough. I like a short pause for you no know, fifteen seconds. Not much of a pause, but it doesn't really uh, isn't really worth it to start any anything new. Maybe add some a bit of bit of detail here. Now this is another baboon looking monkey. Mm, he is extremely hairy, and what exactly is going on with his arm there is not easy to work out. He is sort of looking at the camera. So let's. Start with that. Got a bit of a brow ridge, not as uh, aggressive as some of the others. Much larger eyes. But he is looking sort of away from us. This baboon looking facial markings, but I don't think this is a baboon. I think this is something uh, different entirely. For one, he looks extremely small, and I don't think baboons come in that kind of sizes. Got some skin going on there, and then his baboon um, goatee going on here. Some sideburns. Very uh, large. Much sideburns. And he's doing something with his hand here, maybe leaning on it. His elbow is clearly visible. And it's going in this direction. And there's a bit of negative space here, so uh, light shining through. And then I imagine his knee is interacting with this arm in some way. I'm going to try to draw in the uh, what has to be the other arm. Has to be his shoulder somewhere here. It's uh, going to be a bit higher up because his uh, his foot is just slightly obscured by the uh, other forearm in in view. This, uh, all of this here is just plain black, black, mostly. I can't tell what's going on at all. And his fist is starting somewhere around here. Mm. You can sort of see the reflection, 
between the uh, the group of forearm muscles that I always call the third one, so the one that comes in from between the teardrop muscle and the biceps. And then his uh, his forearm is clearly clearly visible. Other than that, uh, the rest of this is going to be relatively difficult to work out. He has his um, paw here, so this foot. But I can't see his toes. Uh, that might he might be his knee. No, it can't be. I can see his knee behind his. Uh, elbow here so his leg has to be going like this and this is the uh, the foreleg the shin maybe he has turned his foot behind there difficult well that was five minutes time for the final primate which is some sort of a uh, Lemur, I think. Looks like a funny, funny looking creature. Um, extremely black and white. And he's got his face looking off to the side. And then he's got his. Um, arm something like this and that is going to be interacting with his knee so his leg so something like this and then it is leaning on some um, some eye beam a bit of a, a straight here right here and then he has a very large uh, uh, curve for his main body here. Looking uh, down right globular here. Mm, you can sort of tell where he's arm is by the highlights the light is coming from uh, stage left and his chest is uh, a bit lighter than his um, than his upper arm his upper arm is uh, almost entirely black so you can use that as an index index for where he is He is very fuzzy to so actually identifying um, which parts of him go where is uh, is a bit difficult. I, I can imagine that his uh, bones have to go somewhere around here, but uh, does he what does he actually look like inside? I don't know. Somewhere around here, he has uh, turned his other hand around and he's uh, inserting his fingers into a chain link fence. Another very uh, well posed pose. I think his uh, other arm is going to go something like this. And then uh, turn up. So his um, upper arm is probably going away from the camera. And his uh, lower arm is more or less perpendicular to it. And he, has, uh, he has a lot of some sort of hanging skin or, or fluff. He almost looks like he might, might be able to glide with this... Um, With the hanging bits on his arms, but I don't know if uh, if lemurs or perhaps this is a tarsier. Who knows? I don't know if this kind of uh, primates are able to glide. So 
this uh rough art outline to him that was four minutes It's like a kind of a a flat top head. Very high set ears. He also has um, the hair on the top is flat, then it uh, turns around, turns into something like this. In the volumes here and then on the other side it turns turns back down because on this side it will be um, relatively strongly visible and his nose turns up something like this and then he's got his snout there and, uh, so he's got some Then he's got his um, jaw here, of course. Most of his face is black, and I can't really make out a lot of detail there. to have a sort of um, a sort of falls off he's got some jowls going on here would have been a good idea to um, start this sort of inking process on another layer but uh, too late for that So, then going back to more aggressive lines for the uh, edges of the fur here. Got sort of a you know, double layer here. I don't know if I'd call his uh, head hair more like a granny hair or more like an Elvis hair. It's uh, something like that, in any case. Perhaps not quite that globular. I'm going to turn it uh, down a notch here. I think after that I have to start um, sort of 
trying to work on where his um, his arms actually are uh, are doing doing their thing existing. Let's uh, if I want uh, if I'm going to try to. Uh, draw some sort of a uh, you know uh, pedagogical conclusion about uh, drawing primates. I think that this is um, might be helpful for someone uh, watching, in the sense that you will get these kind of situations where you really can't tell what's happening, and of course that's a thing that you will will run into while drawing humans from imagination. But I imagine most. Uh, viewers who want to draw uh, will want to be drawing that's uh, something to remind you that uh, you know working through it there's uh, you will run into problems there will be things that you can do to mitigate the problems But this uh, under time pressure like this, you can't really get into the kind of um, insane detail that uh, can happen while uh, if you are just drawing without the time pressure on you. So that has been the gesture drawing session.